G'day, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to go over gems and how they work in Ancients Reborn. This video is targeted towards newer players and point them in the right direction when dealing with gems. In the description I will leave you some timestamps to allow you to locate the section of video which may assist you if you need. Topics we'll be going over in this video are the different types of gems, how to obtain them, how to equip them, how to use them effectively, how to upgrade them and some tips at the end. The different types of gems, there is a total of 10 levels of gems from rough all the way to perfect ancient with five different types. The types include topaz which provides physical damage for weapons and physical defense for armor, sapphire provides cold damage for weapons, cold resistance for armor, ruby provides heat damage for weapons and heat resistance for armor, emerald provides poison damage for weapons and poison resistance for armor, amethyst provides arcane damage for weapons and arcane resistance for armor. To obtain these gems you have to kill mobs throughout the world or if you are fortunate enough to have joined a guild they may also provide them to you. To help identify which mobs drop what type of gem a good indicator would be found at the top right of a mob's nameplate as seen here on the screen. To see the level of gem they drop you can click on the mob and then select the question mark to identify the loot in which they drop and you can see there that this one drops a rough ruby. In Ancients Reborn you want to select gems to correspond to the type of mobs you're fighting. For example the mob here has a resistance to physical damage and physical based attacks. To combat this you would need to equip in your armor topaz gems so that you could resist the mobs physical damage. In your weapon you would choose any other kind of gem like sapphire, ruby, emerald and amethyst as the mobs have resistance to the same type of gem as the damage type is. Once you've worked out how to obtain them and how to use them effectively you'll now have to equip them in your armor. Select your piece of equipment whether it be an armor piece or a weapon then on the left hand side scroll down. I'm going to select my gauntlets here, my little gloves. On the bottom left hand side you want to scroll down to the bottom, select empty socket, select your preferred gem, in this case mine's going to be your topaz, uh, select the socket button and then you're all done. The requirements to upgrading your gems is that you will need three of the same kind and credits to upgrade the gem. For example to get one chipped topaz you would need three rough topaz and 500 credits. Higher level gems will require ancient dust gathered from monsters or purchased from the cash shop as well as credits and the three gems mentioned before. To upgrade your gems you'll need to head to the city of Senatron located to the northeast side of the map. You will then need to head to the green gem located to the northeast of the marketplace and the bank. You will need to have gems unsocketed in your inventory to upgrade them uh, which can be done here too by opening up the gem artisan, selecting your piece of equipment, selecting the unsocket option and then you'll notice in your inventory you'll have those three particular topazes. To upgrade these you can now select the combine tab up the top here you select the desired gem and then you combine and as you can see here to make one flawless ruby I'd need 40,500 credits and three rare rubies. Select your combine button or if you want you can adjust how much you want and then select the combine button. Now we've gone over the aspects of gems but now I'd like to go over a couple of tips for you uh, which you can use. Keep in mind these are my opinions uh, and may or may not benefit you in game. Uh, my first tip being do not upgrade anything lower than rare quality. This would be a waste of credits due to you out leveling those gems very fast. Uh, mobs will drop rare quality at the highest level. Um, you can't get anything higher than a rare from a mob uh, so you can grind those out pretty quick and easy. Uh, second tip would be if you're in a guild just ask your fellow guild members to see if they have any rare gems or higher that they're willing and can trade you over the marketplace. You'll find out more often than not that they will have something laying around in their bank and they can give you a bit of a jump start when you're first starting out. 
Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching my guide on gems in Ancients Reborn. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all.